Que isso, que que é? O cacli que o acat no hus. Hi, I'm Smoky Sumac. I am uh, coming to you through Poetry London. I want to say thank you, big thank you to, for being invited. Um, means a lot to me. And I'm coming at you from Amakistunakha, from my own territory uh, in the mountains. This is by a local artist uh, in the Kootenays. And I, uh, yeah, I just hope that you enjoy this set. Uh, to be honest, I haven't done much poetry in a while. Um, I am the author of You Are Enough, Love Poems for the End of the World. And it came out with Kegedon's Press in 2018. And I'm gonna do something that I kind of always wanna do at shows, but I'm a little bit too nervous. Um, but I'm just gonna pick as I go, um, which maybe isn't the best idea, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how it goes. So uh, I'm gonna open, actually, because, because uh, this is Poetry London, it's in Ontario, and I lived in Ontario for many years, and so the opening to my book is sort of a land acknowledgement in itself, and it's called Hashtag No Go Series, Poems From and For You, No Go Jiwanong. And I really, really miss my home of Peterborough. Um, I was there for five years. I love being home here, but I'm really, I'm missing it there. So uh, I'm gonna read a, read a poem from that, No Go Series 3. Such a perfect day. I'm glad I spent it with you. It's a Lou Reed haiku. This weekend's highlight covering Come My Way by Tara Williamson. When Quay came on stage and we sang in harmony with a new guitar. Learning to breathe, trusting you, pushing open the weight in my chest, leaving my handprint. That's something to hold on to. Reading poetry, seeing all of you I haven't seen for so long. Conway behind the bar, you and I laughing at our matching red plaids in the garnet's familiar light. So for any of you who have been to Peterborough, um, I'm missing the garnet. I'm missing the garnet crew. And I think probably in Peterborough, they're really missing it because you know we're in isolation and we can't just go to have fun and have, go to a show anymore. But, um, but I hope that these poems reach you. So the next section of my book is called, it's actually the longest section and what I call the best section. Uh, hashtag courting on dating and gender and falling in and out of love. Hmm. Late August ripened tomato she picked when I saw her this morning. A gift but you have to eat it with salt. Perfect summer closing night, we went up to the roof of the parkade, slept in a tent in the rain. Just cold enough for a jacket, I changed outfits three times, so nervous. I thought about it a million times, better than I imagined. And now the replays over and over, writing shit poems here, keeping the good ones for myself. For the love of all that is queer and brown, for those beautiful disabled bodies, for those wedding rings flashing on husbands' fingers, men so deeply in love with each other, a femme with glasses and bangs held on to my glance. Later I wept through readings of learning to love ourselves, our bodies, each of our naked burning hearts, our lipstick and our binders, our canes, our love. This one is simply for all of our love, which can never be wrong. Um, I want to dedicate that one to Vanessa McGowan, uh, who that was at the Naked Heart Festival. I wrote that poem um, after seeing one of her sets. Inclusivity in its purest form, I think, denies all labels. Yet some labels we wear, proud pins on lapels, impossible not to categorize. For communicative ease, break the barrier. So I'm gonna read this one. Uh, I, I still use they, them pronouns. I often use he, him pronouns, um, but I'm gonna read this one because, well, I still use they, them pronouns. And, and also this is for all you they's out there. All you they, them's. I am a they, them, I say, then promptly erase the assertion, she, her, accepted too. 
in case it makes you falter, you uncomfortable. I backstep so quick you'd think I dance salsa. It's harder in public. I'll be woman if it's easier on you, if you think it's sexy. Fishnets and low cuts because the three-piece suit is also energy and I'm just so tired. You probably think this song is about you, but I want you to know it's really about me. Queer, bright, knucka, and proud. Two-spirit is a responsibility, a relationship with all of creation, but most of all, with myself. And I'm just learning to be kind, to be unapologetic. So please let me breathe deep into who I am. Please don't take it personal. It's not you, it's me. Me who I like more without the trying too hard to please. All right, so there's some love poems. Let's do, uh, I'm gonna do another love poem here. I'm gonna do another page. Uh... <laughs> for all you fall, uh, for all you quarantining in love. I'm a little jealous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, see, I see your Insta. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Sunday before sleep, thinking of your clear, boiled down, sap, sugar, brown eyes, commune dreaming, though we'll find a word that fits more, something like no-go, something like ode, something like this place, my heart, your smile, I like you. Somewhere crushes grow, where every day we love and some days we cry, as I lay me down in this spot I left last night to come find you there, to come trust you there, thinking of our weekends filled like buckets on trees, like dirty bathtubs after we wash the dog, like courting with love poems. Dirty leaves rake clean, fallen fizzing, fermented. We do the yard work, you show me the shed. I hear your eyes light up dreams. You see future here and I am in it. We plan my birthday party. I play with the dog, you fill pots with soil, seedlings soon to start waking. Like your quiet heart under the cold moon, we would keep each other warm under the covers. Now, like the dark earth, we soften, slowly open, laugh hard, smile often, cheeks sore from happy. Like when it's still chilly out, blushing red with spring. Hmm. Um, what do you think? I, this is the hard part about not having an audience. So, okay, so those were for the lovers. And we'll get back to some love poems. We'll get back to some good poems. But you know what? Maybe, maybe you're in quarantine and you just broke up. Maybe you're in quarantine and you're thinking about breaking up. Because I think that's happening too. But um, I'm going to do this one. Because, you know, I know that all those love poems. Uh, we I like to say... I like to say that there's always two, at least two poems in a relationship, falling in love and then falling out of love. That's my Mars and Aquarius talking though. Astrologers know what I'm saying. All right. At 29, I lie naked on the beach and think of you. As I undress, the fear knots in my stomach like every time your words threaten to cut the fleshy parts of me. Blood rushing to the surface, threatening to pour out of me. At 29, I climb up off my towel, the whole brown body of me, and walk the length of the beach to the ocean. I laugh if I wonder. <sighs> Sorry. I laugh as I wonder if anyone's noticing the Canucks tattoo on my ass. You never understood my love of hockey. Always looked at me like a stranger when you found out I liked something you couldn't understand. My cheeks redden as I notice an older man down the beach, his body hardening as he watches me, breath rising within me, my shoulders straighten, and I show him all of me. I can hear your voice now. 
Gross, you would have sneered. As I enjoy this moment of validation, his erection reminding me of this body I am in and the power it can hold, he doesn't advance upon me, just sits. His erection and my knowing between us. I am someone you could never understand. The water is cold. Cold enough that when it hits my chest, I am gasping for breath. I was always gasping for breath at the coldness of you. The salt on my te of my tears meets the salt of the ocean. And for a moment, I think I'm going to cascade myself into the depths, disappearing forever, lost amidst the waves of your sharp edges. And I am filled with rage. And the gazay comes. And I am here. At 29, naked in the ocean, and Migazay and his brother are flying overhead, and I am presenting myself to them, and I see the gasping is not like you, not like those choking, suffocating moments where your eyes could shut me up, where your words sliced at my skin like the razors did so well back when I was the age you are stuck in now. No. This gasp is like the one I took bursting forth from the womb of a woman who wouldn't even look at me who somehow gave me a name and then passed me off to the foster mother. Remember that Christmas dinner at the table when my sister nonchalantly handed my adoption papers to my mom, who opened them, looked for a second, said, oh, these are yours, and passed them to me? Don't read them now. You'll probably cry. And I am filled with rage, and I saw you on Instagram smiling at pride. You, the baby dyke that doesn't even like going down. And I am filled with rage and I am in this place. The cedars surround me, the ravens chatter. I am the sun on my skin and the brown of it all. The brown resting on this knucka skin. At 29, I'm naked on the beach thanking the eagles above me. The water around me, the sun on my skin, the sand and the trees that you're not here. <laughs> Thank you. All right, all right. <laughs> I didn't know I had that one in me today. All right, okay. Let's do a couple more. You know, I'm liking this section. I'm liking this section right now. So I'm gonna keep going in this one. Um, it's been a really interesting thing with this book because there's, there's seven sections and it was written over two years. It's over two years of work. And, uh, and so when I get into one and I dive really deep, I'm like, oh, I just want to stay here. But there's, there's, it, it just, uh, well, two years of my life. It's got all sorts of stuff in there. So, um, I'm going to do one of the haiku consent series. I'm going to do a couple. Yeah. A couple of those. Okay. So these are, uh, haiku consent series or hashtag make sex great the first time. My first time was good. When I say this to women, they are often shocked. We are taught instead it should hurt, that it's breaking something inside you. Not taught our pleasure, only shame. Turn the lights off, normal is for him. Did you get them off? Wait through long pounding hours or just a minute, this never happens. Taught to hold our breath, stare at how many ceilings, to-do list in mind, my first time was good. The consensual first time. The one that I count. He smelled so damn good. Had softest high thread count sheets. Made crepes when we woke. Yeah, I stayed the night. And isn't that what we need? Radical balance. I wish that for you. A revolution of sex for every human. Softest sheets and crepes or rose petals and candles tender exploring. Maybe punk rock in the floor if it turns you on. Creating the world, each ask, each yes at a time. Co-write the story. Um, yeah, no, I'm actually gonna move away from that one. I was like, I was gonna do the other one, but uh, you'll just have to get the book to read it. Um, Oh, I like this one because I've been thinking about all the places, all the places. Somebody said the other day, oh, I've really been thinking about going to the city and because I just want to be around people and have it bustling. And I was like, I think the city is not also doing that. Although 
it sounds like some places are opening up. Um, but yeah, this was, um, this one's for Vancouver. When you wake up there, all my ex-West Coast lovers, you'll see there was news. The ocean, a threat to your warm sleeping bodies. You awakening to canceled warnings. I'll text my best friend, say, whoa. She's who I thought of. And then it was you in your various places where I remember scattered near the drive, that studio live workspace near the chicken factory, your place around the corner with the vinyl collection, your mother's house, your twin bed above the garage in Coquitlam, that apartment in New West where you made me crepes. Perhaps because I've been writing poems after you. When I heard the news, I saw the waves crash while you slept in my memories of the places I used to visit. Hmm. So, um, I'm recognizing that you're probably hearing the, the washing machine upstairs and I'm apologizing for that. Um, I hope it's not too loud, and if it is, I'll, I'll re-record, which will be upsetting, because I feel like this has been a good set, but, uh, in any case, um, I am going to keep going. This is why I don't, uh, this is why I don't do this one. All right, so if it's, if it's hard, I'm sure it's hard right now for many of us, so. Someday I'll look back on this and tell a young one there was a time I had to learn how to breathe. I'll teach them about how the earth, water, inhale, exhale, stars line up. There is never enough. And I'll tell them in many ways that this is all I know. You need to cultivate an army. You need the ones who see you when enough is enough. The ones who lay tobacco, and the place that shares your name, the ones that text you through it hours out of their day, the ones who hug you so tight, who show you their pain, the ones who pour a glass of water, open the door to you crying on the porch, the ones who give you a key and let you do your thing, the ones who see you will remind you who you are. Remember. It's time now, young one. They whisper urgently, ah, excuse me. <laughs> this one's about, uh, about recovery, about being struggling, and it, when it's tough. It's time now, young one. They whisper urgently, sweating and shaky, eyes unable to focus. The tears come easy, then stop just as quick. I'm okay. A lie screamed so loud, that's bullshit, it's all bullshit. The mirror begs shattering body bags for more poison, beatings, intrusions, anything to fix. You are not broken, young one. This time it goes unheard, but they will keep repeating. The stars in clear December, you are not broken. The moon exhales the sun, you are not broken. A song sung low in prayer, you are not broken. They will keep repeating, it's time now, listen. And I'll make it a home. Cross often, these wooden floors open and draw blinds, follow the patterns of day, turn to night, turn to worn floorboard paths, and you'll never come here. You are the uninvited, once made my body your home, but then I took it back from your false grip. I woke up, saw you, they taught me of you. And now you'll never come here. Don't bother trying. The back gate's locked. I'll stop you at the door. My body, my home now. Thank you. I think I'll leave it there. Husu Kelskokni, it's an honor to read for you. I hope that you're doing well. Stay safe, stay well, and take care.